morning, you guys. Today is a Wednesday, the 8th of November. It's like 9.30 in the morning. I woke up super late today. I'm still very sleepy, that's why I'm chugging my coffee. Really quick, I just wanted to thank you guys for all of the amazing feedback and support that I got on my last vlog. That one was a really hard one for me to make and I just really appreciate all the support that you guys gave me. I got nothing but sweet comments from you guys and that means the absolute world to me. So thank you very much for that. So my plans for the day are basically to go to the mall with my bestest friend Harley and full disclosure, we actually went to the mall two days ago. But I guess she forgot something or something. There, there was something else that she wanted to grab. And so we're going to try a different mall this time. And it's all her fault. She's a terrible influence on me. And she makes me spend all my money. I got these sweatpants two days ago. And I love them so much. They're so comfortable. I've pretty much been wearing them for the last two days straight. Also, I woke up with like, it looks like, can you guys see? My left eye looks so irritated. It looks red and puffy. Like I woke up and it looks like I got punched in the eye. Look at that. What happened to my poor eye? Can you see the puffiness or just the redness? You just made the sweetest boy. Love you. This dog is never happier than when he has a tennis ball in his mouth. Never happier. You sweet baby. You could give him peanut butter. You could give him his egg. You could give him anything. And he will never be as happy as he is when he's got his tennis ball in his mouth. I'm going to put some makeup on my face. First, I need to go get some of these dry flakes off. I slept in my foam rollers again, if you were wondering. I'm gonna have to add those to my favorites video because I've been using them so much recently. Ew, this smells terrible. So I'm just gonna do like a super minimal makeup look. So I'm gonna try and like take it easy on that area because I don't wanna like irritate it more, but I also don't wanna go completely makeupless. Cameron saw me yesterday and he told me, you look like you could be not wearing any makeup. And I was wearing concealer and powder and mascara and highlighter and bronzer and I was like, okay, boy brains. First I'm gonna put on my medicine. I'm just gonna put a little bit on though because this stuff dries the crap out of my skin. Actually, you know what? I don't know if it's this stuff that dries the crap out of my skin or if it's one of my other 45 medicines that I put on my face. We got an elliptical the other day. Well, like last week and I've used it every single day since we got it. But Kaiser hasn't quite got that he needs to stay clear of like the moving mechanisms because he'll come up to me while I'm on it and try and like sniff it and stuff and he keeps getting popped in the face and I'm like you ain't learned yet so hopefully Harley doesn't take me to TK Maxx again because when we went to the mall the other day we went to TK Maxx and I wasn't planning on spending any money and of course TJ Maxx I ended up spending money all right, I'm just sort of letting that medicine sink into my skin a little bit and then I'm going to moisturize. I've been using the oil-free moisture sensitive skin by Neutrogena. This is the one without sunscreen. I want to get the one with sunscreen though, but it's the same price and it's half the size. Also, I'm so upset. I've been using this one. I recently spoke about the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. This one here in my favorites video and I'm so upset. I didn't read the ingredients until recently. There's freaking mineral oil in this. Mineral oil is known to clog your pores, but it also says won't clog pores, dermatologist tested. But I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't entirely trust this. And when I was picking up my medicine most recently at the pharmacy, the pharmacist told me, she was giving me my acne medicine and she was like, this stuff can really dry out your skin, so make sure that you're moisturizing, but don't moisturize with something that's super thick and oily oily, keyword oily, because that will give you more pimples. So I wanted to pick up a moisturizer that said oil-free in, in the name of it. And this is the Oil-Free Moisture by Neutrogena. And you can tell the difference in the consistency. This one is a little bit more runny and it absorbs really nicely. This one is much thicker and creamier. And I'm really upset because I just bought the mini size of this to keep here and to travel with. And I have like the big honker in my bathroom where I used to. So good thing it's not too expensive because I would have been really mad. Okay, so I just found out that my husband has a four day weekend this weekend. I think he was trying to like keep it a secret from me because I just like looked at the date and realized that it's this weekend is Veterans Day. And I just texted him and asked him, is it a four day weekend this weekend? And he was like, maybe. Ouch. So what I was getting at with the Pond's moisturizer is that yes, it was in my favorites video. I need to update like the description box or pin a comment or something because I, I don't really recommend it anymore. I don't know if I noticed it actually clogging my pores, but I just don't really trust that ingredient and all the research I did on it said 
probably not great for acne prone skin but I remember seeing a tweet a long long time ago I think it was by Candy Johnson and it said go through all your skincare products and your makeup products right now and if anything has mineral oil in it throw it away it's comedogenic and so I did at the time that was like a long time ago before I ever tried this pond stuff. When the pharmacist told me don't use anything too oily, I was like, oh, I wonder if mine, the pond stuff is too oily. And so I looked at the ingredients and I freaking said mineral oil. And it's like the second ingredient. Yeah, the first ingredient is water and the second one is mineral oil. I'm gonna spray some of my Maria Badescu cucumber spray, which I'm almost out of. I placed an Ulta order on like October 22nd. It's a, I'm really excited for the order. It's not a big order, but I'm really excited for it. It's the Jaclyn Hill palette and a Morphe brush that I think is gonna be my new Holy Grail bronzer brush. And so I'm really like waiting for it anxiously, but it's been over two weeks and it hasn't been here yet. And so I emailed Ulta and I was like, where's my stuff? I'm way too excited for this. I was trying so hard not to be like a brat. And you know what they said? Tarte Shape Tape. They emailed me back within like less than an hour, it seemed like and said, we're so sorry, we requested a reship of your order. They resent me the entire order. And all it took was for me to say, yo, homie, it's been two weeks, where is it at? And they just like resent the entire thing and said that I should expect it within three to eight business days. Like, I was very impressed. I don't know why I like wasn't expecting them to act that way. I was expecting it to be more like, give it this much more time, you know, checking your bushes and underneath your mailbox, check a back door. Like most customer service reps, I feel just try to like beat around it. But no, I, I literally was the shortest email. I was like, hey, it's not here yet. It's been two weeks. I'm too excited. I put that in the email. I was like, I'm way too excited to wait any longer. And they were like, okay, here, we'll send it again. So I just used the shape tape as sort of like a spot conceal and then underneath my eyes and I'm just patting out with my finger right, and I'm gonna set my under eyes with my Arsenio color powder what else what's up punk what's up boy if I were in high school right now this is probably the makeup look I would wear to school every day I knew nothing about makeup when I was in high school I wore no skin makeup no face makeup whatsoever I mean maybe sometimes I put concealer on but I thought my dog was about to barf again but I had like perfect skin in high school <laughs> So I wore like no skin makeup at all, like no face makeup. For the most part, I would just wear a thick arse wing liner, the Maybelline Master Duo liner in black lacquer every single day without fail. If I didn't wear my eyeliner, people were like, are you okay? Do you feel all right? And mascara, and that's like everything that I wore to school. I never even like bought bronzer. I never knew what bronzer was until I like got married. I mean, which wasn't that long after high school, but you know what I mean. It was actually technically during high school when I got married because I graduated early. I graduated in January and I was married in March. So if I hadn't have graduated early, I would have been married as a senior in high school. Hey, I'm wearing my senior shirt today. Now I'm just gonna bronze up my skin lightly. Butter bronzer. I kind of want to get the lighter shade just so that I can go like ham. My under eye look better now. Um, not really. It still kind of looks like I got punched. I wasn't really in the Christmas spirit until I went to TK Maxx the other day because of course I have all their beautiful Christmas stuff out and ugh, I wanted to buy it all. This looks like a real video. Should I just turn my ring light on? Why do these two brushes look so similar? Put down the bronzer. Yeah, put it down. I'm going to go ahead and highlight using Champagne Pop. I just need to... Get over myself and buy the full size now. I've already hit pan on this one. And this is the one that fell on the ground and shattered. So there's like dog hair mixed up in here. And I do really love champagne pop, but I kind of feel like it might even be a little bit too dark for me. Or maybe it just pulls too gold on me. I don't really see much of the peachy undertones. As much as I used to anyway. I feel like I feel like it's changed. I think champagne pop is a little bit too dark for my inner corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter, this top champagne shade right here. And I'm just gonna bring some light to my inner corners just a little bit. I'm gonna set my face really quickly before I put on my mascara. Using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And then just pat out any of those creases that I just made in my under eye concealer. Wow, I look so tired. And some Maybelline Lash Sensation. And then I'm just going to tap on a little bit of the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Dolly, which is ridiculously similar to my natural lip color. Don't you hate when you can feel a hair but you can't find it? I have a dog hair stuck to my lip and I, I can't get it. I don't, I don't see it. It's a phantom hair. I need to go find out what I'm wearing.
OTD. This sweater, I have no idea where I came from because I got it at the thrift store. My jeans are American Eagle and my boots are Bear Claw. Bear Claw? Bear Paw. Bear Paw. The sweater is super comfortable. I really like it. I've never really been the biggest fan of turtlenecks, but this one I really like. I just don't like that the sleeves are like these big bell sleeves with this slit because I like my sleeves to be all the way around like my hand. These sleeves sort of fall down my arm, but you know, that's fine. I need to go brush my teeth and take my dog out. I am going to take my camera with me, but I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to do. I'm not one to like feel comfortable enough to vlog in public, but you know, we'll see. I didn't vlog at all, not even this much. I never touched my camera, not one time. We basically just went to H&M. I did grab just a couple of things. So Monday was basically a TK Maxx run, and then today we pretty much just went to H&M. I got this super cute shirt. It's got like the varsity little stripey stripes on it. Is that what you call those? And this sucker was only like 10 bucks. Looks like it'll be a little bit cropped. So I'm sure I'll wear it with something high-waisted like I always do. And then I also could not pass this up. I had to grab it. I love to sleep in like little nighties, like little nightgowns. This was so cheap. I had no reason not to get it. It was only five bucks. And it's just like this little dress and it says Sunday forever PJ all day long with just like the little spaghetti straps. And then I also grabbed a new little crossbody purse. It is like the simplest little black bag. It's got the silver zipper. It's got two different little compartments. It's not an adjustable strap or anything. It was like 15 bucks. I just wanted it because I needed something small and compact and simple because I brought my big huge purse with me that I actually just recently got to and I really like that one because it has a lot of space for me to fit like literally anything I need. I have like powder and tampons. I have an anti-chafe balm. I have like everything I could ever need in that purse. My anxiety meds, like everything, but I just needed, I had Harley pick it up on the way there. I was like, do you think this is like obnoxious? Is this too much? And she was like, this is way too heavy. So now all I have in here is my keys, wallet. I have a little coin purse, gum, like a little rollerball perfume, a pen and a, an empty Ziploc bag because you never know when you might need one. Okay. And then the other day at TK Maxx, I bought my new favorite sweatpants. I'm literally about to put them on right now. I'm obsessed. They're basically like joggers. They're a really sort of pale, off-white, creamy sort of color. They have the little drawstrings. They have the little pockets. And then, you know, they cinch at the ankle like joggers do. And there is nothing I can say to make you understand how soft these are. Absolutely nothing. And then I also, I could not pass these up. These are adorable. I hope you'll be able to see the color on camera because it's, it's a beautiful, sort of like a deep teal kind of color. In certain lights, it looks a little bit more green. In certain ones, it looks a little bit more blue. And these were originally 40 bucks, I think. And I got them for like 14. And they have the little crisscross hole detailing there at the bottom, at the ankle. And then also at TK Maxx the other day, I picked up this little canister. It just says tea on it. It's a perfect color for our sort of decor. And I just, I keep my tea in there. And this was originally like 12 bucks and I only paid four for it, so. You gotta love TJ Maxx, am I right? I also went and picked up my mail and still nothing from Ulta. I think it's safe to say that I am uh, officially in the Christmas spirit. You know, for someone who loves Thanksgiving as much as I do, I'm getting very Christmassy very early this year. This is a onesie that my wonderful, amazing mother-in-law sent me last year for Christmas and the packages got like lost in the mail or something, our Christmas gifts last year. And so I didn't actually receive this physically, until after Christmas last year. And so I have never even worn this until right now. And it fits me perfectly. And I'm so glad because I honestly don't think it would have fit me last year. I was much heavier last year. Pretty much the warmest thing I have ever put on my body. Look at it. Look at it. I like that it like, it looks rather normal like this, right? It's just like, oh, cute little onesie, you know, plain polka dots and everything. And then you have the little antlers on the hood. That makes it so much more festive, but wait for it. Wait, are you ready? Wait, wait. I also like that they're not footy. It's a onesie, but they're not footy PJs. You know, my, my feet can hang out, so if I get too hot. I love it, I love it, I love it, and I'm going to wear it every day for the month of November and December and possibly January. Like, why? Why?
Like, really? Why? These cups just attacked me when I opened the cupboard, and now they're shattered into literally like a thousand pieces. look all red again anyway i just wanted to pop on here really quick and tell you guys thank you so much for watching this vlog i really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine and i will see you guys next time